According to the theory of relativity, time dilation is a difference in the elapsed time measured by two observers, either due to a velocity difference relative to each other, or by being differently situated relative to a gravitational field. As a result of the nature of spacetime, a clock that is moving relative to an observer will be measured to tick slower than a clock that is at rest in the observer's own frame of reference. A clock that is under the influence of a stronger gravitational field than an observer's will also be measured to tick slower than the observer's own clock. Such time dilation has been repeatedly demonstrated, for instance by small disparities in a pair of atomic clocks after one of them is sent on a space trip, or by clocks on the space shuttle running slightly slower than reference clocks on Earth, or clocks on GPS and Galileo satellites running slightly faster. Time dilation has also been the subject of science fiction works, as it technically provides the means for forward time travel. History Time dilation by the Lorentz factor was predicted by several authors at the turn of the 20th century. Joseph Larmor 1897, at least for electrons orbiting a nucleus, wrote, Individual electrons describe corresponding parts of their orbits in times shorter for the rest system in the ratio 1 minus v 2 c 2 display style script style sqrt 1 frac v caret 2 c caret 2 Emil Cohn 1904 specifically related this formula to the rate of clocks in the context of special relativity it was shown by Albert Einstein 1905 that this effect concerns the nature of time itself, and he was also the first to point out its reciprocity or symmetry. Subsequently, Hermann Minkowski 1907 introduced the concept of proper time which further clarified the meaning of time dilation. <laughs> Velocity time dilation Special relativity indicates that, for an observer in an inertial frame of reference, a clock that is moving relative to him will be measured to tick slower than a clock that is at rest in his frame of reference. This case is sometimes called special relativistic time dilation. The faster the relative velocity, the greater the time dilation between one another, with the rate of time reaching zero as one approaches the speed of light 299,792,458 m per second. This causes massless particles that travel at the speed of light to be unaffected by the passage of time. Theoretically, time dilation would make it possible for passengers in a fast-moving vehicle to advance further into the future in a short period of their own time. For sufficiently high speeds, the effect is dramatic. For example, one year of travel might correspond to ten years on Earth. Indeed, a constant 1 gram acceleration would permit humans to travel through the entire known universe in one human lifetime. With current technology severely limiting the velocity of space travel, however, the differences experienced in practice are minuscule. After six months on the International Space Station (ISS), which orbits Earth at a speed of about 7,700 meters per second, an astronaut would have aged about 0.005 seconds less than those on Earth. The current human time travel record holder is Russian cosmonaut Sergei Krikalev. He gained 22. 68 milliseconds of lifetime on his journeys to space and therefore beat the previous record of about 20 milliseconds by cosmonaut Sergei Avdiev. Topic: <laughs> Simple inference of velocity time dilation. Time dilation can be inferred from the observed constancy of the speed of light in all reference frames dictated by the second postulate of special relativity. This constancy of the speed of light means that, counter to intuition, speeds of material objects and light are not additive. It is not possible to make the speed of light appear greater by moving towards or away from the light source. Consider then, a simple clock consisting of two mirrors A and B, between which a light pulse is bouncing. The separation of the mirrors is L and the clock ticks once each time the light pulse hits either of the mirrors. In the frame in which the clock is at rest diagram on the left, the light pulse traces out a path of length 2L and the period of the clock is 2L divided by the speed of light delta T equals 2L C delta T equals frac 2L C 
From the frame of reference of a moving observer traveling at the speed v relative to the resting frame of the clock diagram at right, the light pulse is seen as tracing out a longer, angled path. Keeping the speed of light constant for all inertial observers, requires a lengthening of the period of this clock from the moving observer's perspective. That is to say, in a frame moving relative to the local clock, this clock will appear to be running more slowly. Straightforward application of the Pythagorean theorem leads to the well-known prediction of special relativity. The total time for the light pulse to trace its path is given by delta t equals 2 d c display style delta t equals frac 2 d c the length of the half path can be calculated as a function of known quantities as d equals 1 2 v delta t 2 plus l 2 display style d equals sqrt left frac 1 2 v delta t right caret 2 plus l caret 2 elimination of the variables d and l from these three equations results in delta T equals delta T one minus V two C two display style delta T equals frac delta T sqrt one frac V caret two C caret two, which expresses the fact that the moving observer's period of the clock delta T display style delta t is longer than the period delta t display style delta t in the frame of the clock itself topic reciprocity given a certain frame of reference and the stationary observer described earlier if a second observer accompanied the moving clock, each of the observers would perceive the other's clock as ticking at a slower rate than their own local clock, due to them both perceiving the other to be the one that's in motion relative to their own stationary frame of reference. Common sense would dictate that, if the passage of time has slowed for a moving object, said object would observe the external world's time to be correspondingly sped up. Counterintuitively, special relativity predicts the opposite. When two observers are in motion relative to each other, each will measure the other's clock slowing down, in concordance with them being moving relative to the observer's frame of reference. While this seems self-contradictory, a similar oddity occurs in everyday life. If two persons A and B observe each other from a distance, B will appear small to A, but at the same time A will appear small to B. Being familiar with the effects of perspective, there is no contradiction or paradox in this situation. The reciprocity of the phenomenon also leads to the so called twin paradox, where the aging of twins, one staying on Earth and the other embarking on a space travel, is compared, and where the reciprocity suggests that both persons should have the same age when they reunite. On the contrary, at the end of the round trip, the traveling twin will be younger than his brother on Earth. The dilemma posed by the paradox, however, can be explained by the fact that the traveling twin must markedly accelerate in at least three phases of the trip beginning, direction change, and end, while the other will only experience negligible acceleration, due to rotation and revolution of Earth. During the acceleration phases of the space travel, time dilation is not symmetric. Topic. Experimental testing Topic. Doppler effect Ives and Stilwell 1938, 1941, stated purpose of these experiments was to verify the time dilation effect, predicted by larmor lorentz ether theory, due to motion through the ether using Einstein's suggestion that Doppler effect in canal rays would provide a suitable experiment. These experiments measured the Doppler shift of the radiation emitted from cathode rays, when viewed from directly in front and from directly behind. The high and low frequencies detected were not the classically predicted values f 0 1 minus v c and f 0 1 plus v c 
Display style FRAC F underscore zero one V C Q quad text and Q quad FRAC F underscore zero one plus V C The high and low frequencies of the radiation from the moving sources were measured as one plus V C one minus V C F zero equals gamma 1 plus v c f 0 and 1 minus v c 1 plus v c f 0 equals gamma 1 Minus V C F zero Display style SQRT FRAC one plus V C one V C F underscore zero equals gamma left one plus V C right F underscore zero Q quad text and Q quad SQRT FRAC one V C one plus V C F underscore zero equals gamma left one V C right F underscore zero as deduced by Einstein 1905 from the Lorentz transformation, when the source is running slow by the Lorentz factor, Hasselkamp, Mondry, and Sharman 1979 measured the Doppler shift from a source moving at right angles to the line of sight. The most general relationship between frequencies of the radiation from the moving sources is given by F D E T E C T E D equals F R E S T one minus V C cos phi one minus V two C two Display style F underscore mathem detected equals F underscore mathem rest left one FRAC V C cos phi right SQRT one V carrot two C carrot two as deduced by Einstein nineteen oh five for phi topic ninety degrees cos phi Zero. This reduces to F detected equals frest gamma. This lower frequency from the moving source can be attributed to the time dilation effect and is often called the transverse Doppler effect and was predicted by relativity. In 2010, time dilation was observed at speeds of less than 10 meters per second using optical atomic clocks connected by 75 meters of optical fiber. Topic: <laughs> Moving particles. A comparison of muon lifetimes at different speeds is possible. In the laboratory, slow muons are produced, and in the atmosphere, very fast-moving muons are introduced by cosmic rays. Taking the muon lifetime at rest as the laboratory value of 2.197 microseconds, the lifetime of a cosmic ray produced muon traveling at 98% of the speed of light is about five times longer, in agreement with observations. An example is Rossi and Hall 1941, who compared the population of cosmic ray-produced muons at the top of a mountain to that observed at sea level. The lifetime of particles produced in particle accelerators appears longer due to time dilation. In such experiments the clock is the time taken by processes leading to muon decay, and these processes take place in the moving muon at its own clock rate, which is much slower than the laboratory clock. This is routinely taken into account in particle physics, and many dedicated measurements have been performed. For instance, in the muon storage ring at CERN the lifetime of muons circulating with gamma equals 29.327 was found to be dilated to 64.378 microseconds, confirming time dilation to an accuracy of 0.9 plus or minus 0.4 parts per thousand. Topic. Proper time and Minkowski diagram. In the Minkowski diagram from the second image on the right, clock C resting in inertial frame S meets clock A at D and clock B at F both resting in S. 
All three clocks simultaneously start to tick in S. The world line of A is the court axis, the world line of B intersecting F is parallel to the court axis, and the world line of C is the court axis. All events simultaneous with D and S are on the X axis, in S on the X axis. The proper time between two events is indicated by a clock present at both events. It is invariant, i.e., in all inertial frames it is agreed that this time is indicated by that clock. Interval df is therefore the proper time of clock C, and is shorter with respect to the coordinate times EF equals DG of clocks B and A in S. Conversely, also proper time EF of B is shorter with respect to time if in S, because event E was measured in S already at time I due to relativity of simultaneity, long before C started to tick. From that it can be seen, that the proper time between two events indicated by an unaccelerated clock present at both events, compared with the synchronized coordinate time measured in all other inertial frames, is always the minimal time interval between those events. However, the interval between two events can also correspond to the proper time of accelerated clocks present at both events. Under all possible proper times between two events, the proper time of the unaccelerated clock is maximal, which is the solution to the twin paradox. Topic. Derivation and formulation In addition to the light clock used above, the formula for time dilation can be more generally derived from the temporal part of the Lorentz transformation. Let there be two events at which the moving clock indicates t a and t b Thus, T A equals T A minus V X A C two one minus V two C two T B equals T B minus v x b c 2 1 minus v 2 c 2 Display style t underscore a caret prime equals frac t underscore a frac v x underscore a c caret two sqrt one frac v caret two c caret two t underscore b caret prime equals frac t underscore b frac v x underscore b c caret two sqrt one frac v caret two c caret two since the clock remains at rest in its inertial frame, it follows x a equals x b display style x underscore a equals x underscore b. Thus, the interval delta t equals t b minus t a. Display style delta t caret prime equals t underscore b caret prime t underscore a caret prime is given by delta t equals gamma delta t equals delta t one minus v two c two Display style delta t equals gamma delta t equals frac delta t sqrt one frac v caret two c caret two, where delta t is the time interval between two co-local events, i.e., happening at the same place for an observer in some inertial frame, e.g., ticks on his clock, known as the proper time. Delta t is the time interval between those same events, as measured by another observer, inertially moving with velocity v with respect to the former observer, v is the relative velocity between the observer and the moving clock, c is the speed of light, and the Lorentz factor conventionally denoted by the Greek letter gamma or gamma is gamma equals 1 1 minus v 2 c 2 
Display style gamma equals frac 1 sqrt 1 frac v caret 2 c caret 2. Thus, the duration of the clock cycle of a moving clock is found to be increased. It is measured to be running slow. The range of such variances in ordinary life, where VC, even considering space travel, are not great enough to produce easily detectable time dilation effects and such vanishingly small effects can be safely ignored for most purposes. It is only when an object approaches speeds on the order of 30,000 km per second one-tenth the speed of light that time dilation becomes important. Topic. Hyperbolic motion. In special relativity, time dilation is most simply described in circumstances where relative velocity is unchanging. Nevertheless, the Lorentz equations allow one to calculate proper time and movement in space for the simple case of a spaceship which is applied with a force per unit mass, relative to some reference object in uniform i.e. constant velocity motion, equal to g throughout the period of measurement. Let t be the time in an inertial frame subsequently called the rest frame. Let x be a spatial coordinate, and let the direction of the constant acceleration as well as the spaceship's velocity relative to the rest frame be parallel to the x-axis. Assuming the spaceship's position at time t topic. 0 being x 0 and the velocity being v0 and defining the following abbreviation gamma 0 equals 1 1 minus v 0 2 c 2 display style gamma underscore 0 equals frac 1 sqrt 1 v underscore 0 caret 2 c caret 2 the following formulas hold position x t equals c 2 g 1 plus g t plus v 0 gamma 0 2 c 2 minus gamma 0 Display style x t equals frac c caret 2 g left sqrt 1 plus frac left g t plus v underscore 0 gamma underscore 0 right caret 2 c caret 2 gamma underscore 0 right velocity v t equals g t plus v 0 gamma 0 1 plus g t plus v 0 gamma 0 2 c 2 Display style v t equals frac g t plus v underscore zero gamma underscore zero sqrt one plus frac left g t plus v underscore zero gamma underscore zero right caret two c caret two. Proper time as function of coordinate time. Tau t equals tau zero plus zero t 1 minus v t c 2 d t display style tau t equals tau underscore 0 plus int underscore 0 caret t sqrt 1 left frac v t c right caret 2 d t in the case where v 0 Topic V zero zero and tau zero topic tau zero zero the integral can be expressed as a logarithmic function or equivalently as an inverse hyperbolic function tau t equals c g 
lane g t c plus 1 plus g t c 2 equals c g arson g t c Display style tau t equals frac c g lane left frac g t c plus sqrt one plus left frac g t c right caret two right equals frac c g operator name arson left frac g t c right. As functions of the proper time, tau display style tau. Of the ship, the following formulae hold: position x tau equals c two g cosh g tau c minus one. Display style x tau equals frac c caret two g left cosh frac g tau c minus one right. Velocity v tau equals c ten h g tau c display style v tau equals c ten h frac g tau c coordinate time as function of proper time t tau equals c g sin G tau c display style t tau equals frac c g sin frac g tau c topic clock hypothesis the clock hypothesis is the assumption that the rate at which a clock is affected by time dilation does not depend on its acceleration but only on its instantaneous velocity. This is equivalent to stating that a clock moving along a path p display style p measures the proper time defined by d tau equals p d t 2 minus d x 2 c 2 minus d y 2 c 2 minus d z 2 c 2 Display style d tau equals int underscore p sqrt dt caret two dx caret two c caret two di caret two c caret two dz caret two c caret two the clock hypothesis was implicitly but not explicitly included in Einstein's original 1905 formulation of special relativity. Since then, it has become a standard assumption and is usually included in the axioms of special relativity, especially in the light of experimental verification up to very high accelerations in particle accelerators. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Gravitational time dilation. Gravitational time dilation is experienced by an observer that, being under the influence of a gravitational field, will measure his own clock to slow down, compared to another that is under a weaker gravitational field. Gravitational time dilation is at play e.g. for ISS astronauts. While the astronaut's relative velocity slows down their time, the reduced gravitational influence at their location speeds it up, although at a lesser degree. Also, a climber's time is theoretically passing slightly faster at the top of a mountain compared to people at sea level. It has also been calculated that due to time dilation, the core of the Earth is 2.5 years younger than the crust. A clock used to time a full rotation of the Earth will measure the day to be approximately an extra 10 nanoseconds per day longer for every km of altitude above the reference geoid. Travel to regions of space where extreme gravitational time dilation is taking place, such as near a black hole, could yield time-shifting results analogous to those of near-lightspeed space travel.
Contrarily to velocity time dilation, in which both observers measure the other as aging slower a reciprocal effect, gravitational time dilation is not reciprocal. This means that with gravitational time dilation both observers agree that the clock nearer the center of the gravitational field is slower in rate, and they agree on the ratio of the difference. Topic. Experimental testing In 1959 Robert Pound and Glenn A. Rebka measured the very slight gravitational red shift in the frequency of light emitted at a lower height, where Earth's gravitational field is relatively more intense. The results were within 10% of the predictions of general relativity. In 1964, Pound and J. L. Snyder measured a result within 1% of the value predicted by gravitational time dilation. See pound rebka experiment. In 2010 gravitational time dilation was measured at the Earth's surface with a height difference of only 1 meter, using optical atomic clocks. Topic. Combined effect of velocity and gravitational time dilation High accuracy timekeeping, low Earth orbit satellite tracking, and pulsar timing are applications that require the consideration of the combined effects of mass and motion in producing time dilation. Practical examples include the International Atomic Time Standard and its relationship with the barycentric coordinate time standard used for interplanetary objects. Relativistic time dilation effects for the Solar System and the Earth can be modeled very precisely by the Schwarzschild solution to the Einstein field equations. In the Schwarzschild metric, the interval d t e display style d t underscore text e is given by d t e two equals one minus two g m i r i c D T C two minus one minus two G M I R I C two minus one D X two plus D Y two plus D Z two C two Display style DT underscore text E carrot two equals left one FRAC two GM underscore text I R underscore text I C carrot two right DT underscore text C carrot two left one FRAC two GM underscore text I R underscore text I C carrot two right carrot minus one FRAC DX carrot two plus die carrot two plus DZ carrot two C carrot two where T E display style dt underscore text E is a small increment of proper time T E display style T underscore text E an interval that could be recorded on an atomic clock D T C display style dt underscore text C is a small increment in the coordinate T C display style T underscore text C coordinate time D X D Y D Z display style D X die D Z are small increments in the three coordinates X Y Z display style X Y Z of the clock's position G M I R I display style frac G M underscore I R underscore I represents the sum of the Newtonian gravitational potentials due to the masses in the neighborhood based on their distances R I display style R underscore I from the clock 
This sum includes any tidal potentials. The coordinate velocity of the clock is given by v 2 equals d x 2 plus d y 2 plus d z 2 d t c 2 Display style v caret two equals frac dx caret two plus di caret two plus dz caret two dt underscore text c caret two. The coordinate time t c display style t underscore c is the time that would be read on a hypothetical coordinate clock situated infinitely far from all gravitational masses. U equals Zero. Display style u equals zero. And stationary in the system of coordinates. V equals zero. Display style v equals zero. The exact relation between the rate of proper time and the rate of coordinate time for a clock with a radial component of velocity is d t e d t c equals 1 minus 2 u c 2 minus v 2 c 2 minus c 2 2 u minus 1 minus 1 v 2 C two equals one minus beta two plus beta E two plus beta two beta E two one minus beta E two Display style FRAC DT underscore text E DT underscore text C equals SQRT one FRAC two U C carrot two FRAC V carrot two C carrot two left FRAC C carrot two two U minus one right carrot minus one FRAC V underscore short parallel carrot two C carrot two equals SQRT one left beta carrot two plus beta underscore E carrot two plus FRAC beta underscore short parallel carrot two beta underscore e carrot two one beta underscore e carrot two right where v display style v underscore short parallel is the radial velocity v e equals two g m i r I display style v underscore e equals sqrt frac 2 gm underscore i r underscore i is the escape velocity beta equals v c display style beta equals v c beta e equals v e c Display style beta underscore e equals v underscore e c and beta equals v c. Display style beta underscore short parallel equals v underscore short parallel c are velocities as a percentage of speed of light c. U equals g m i r I display style u equals frac gm underscore i r underscore i is the Newtonian potential equivalent to half of the escape velocity squared. The above equation is exact under the assumptions of the Schwarzschild solution. It reduces to velocity time dilation equation in the presence of motion and absence of gravity, i.e., beta e equals zero. 
Display style beta underscore e equals zero. It reduces to gravitational time dilation equation in the absence of motion and presence of gravity, i.e. beta equals zero equals beta. Display style beta equals zero equals beta underscore short parallel. Topic: Experimental testing. Haffel and Keating, in 1971, flew cesium atomic clocks east and west around the Earth in commercial airliners, to compare the elapsed time against that of a clock that remained at the U.S. Naval Observatory. Two opposite effects came into play. The clocks were expected to age more quickly show a larger elapsed time than the reference clock, since they were in a higher weaker gravitational potential for most of the trip C. F. Pound Rebka experiment. But also, contrastingly, the moving clocks were expected to age more slowly because of the speed of their travel. From the actual flight paths of each trip, the theory predicted that the flying clocks, compared with reference clocks at the U.S. Naval Observatory, should have lost 40 plus or minus 23 nanoseconds during the eastward trip and should have gained 275 plus or minus 21 nanoseconds during the westward trip. Relative to the atomic time scale of the U.S. Naval Observatory, the flying clocks lost 59 plus or minus 10 nanoseconds during the eastward trip and gained 273 plus or minus 7 nanoseconds during the westward trip where the error bars represent standard deviation. In 2005, the National Physical Laboratory in the United Kingdom reported their limited replication of this experiment. The NPL experiment differed from the original in that the cesium clocks were sent on a shorter trip London Washington DC return but the clocks were more accurate The reported results are within 4% of the predictions of relativity within the uncertainty of the measurements The global positioning system can be considered a continuously operating experiment in both special and general relativity the in-orbit clocks are corrected for both special and general relativistic time dilation effects as described above, so that as observed from the Earth's surface they run at the same rate as clocks on the surface of the Earth. <laughs> Footnotes <laughs> References Further <references> reading <references> 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 Calendar, C., Edney, R. 2001. Introducing Time. Icon Books. ISBN 1 84046 592 1. Einstein, A. 1905. Zur Elektrodynamik Buetter Korper. Annalen der Physik. 322 10, 891. Bibcode, 1905 ANP. 0.322, 891e. Doi 10.1002 ANDP.1905322104. Einstein A. 1907. Über die Möglichkeit einer neuen Prüfung des Relativitätsprinzips. Annalen der Physik 328:6197-198. Bibcode 1907ANP.328197 197E doi 10.1002 andp.1907328061313 Hasselkamp D, Mondry E, Sharman A 1979 Direct observation of the transversal Doppler shift Zeitschrift für Physik A 289 151-155 Bibcode, 1979 ZPHYA.289, 151H. doi, 10.1007, BF0143532. Ives, H. E., Stillwell, G. R. An Experimental Study of the Rate of a Moving Clock. Journal of the Optical Society of America, 28 7, 215-226. Doi 10.1364 JOSA.28.000215. Ives, H. E. Stillwell, G. R. 1941. An experimental study of the rate of a moving clock. 2. Journal of the Optical Society of America, 31, 5, 369-374.
doi 10.1364 josa.31.0003690369 Yos, G. 1959. Lehrbuch der Theoretischen Physik, Zweit's Book. 11th ed. Larmor, J. 1897. On a Dynamical Theory of the Electric and Luminiferous Medium. Philosophical Transactions of the Royal Society, 190-205-300. Bibcode, 1897rspta.190, 205L. Doi 10.1098 RSTA.1897.0020 third and last in a series of papers with the same name Poincaré H 1900 La théorie de Lorentz et le principe de réaction Archives néerlandaises 5 to 253-78 Puri A 2015 Einstein versus the simple pendulum formula does gravity slow all clocks Physics Education. 54, 431. Bibcode, 2015 5, 50, 431 p. doi, 10.1088, 0031-9120-5ths, 4431. Reinhardt, S., et al., 2007. Test of Relativistic Time Dilation with Fast Optical Atomic Clocks at Different Velocities. PDF. Nature Physics, 3 12, 861-864. Bibcode, 2007 NATPH .3, 861R. doi, 10.1038, NPHYS 778. Archived from the original PDF on 12 July 2009. Rossi, B., Hall, D. B. Variation of the rate of decay of mesotrons with momentum. Physical Review. 59 3, 223. Bibcode, 1941 PHRV. 59, 223R. doi, 10.1103, Weiss, M. Two way time transfer for satellites. National Institute of Standards and Technology. Archived from the original on the 29th of May 2017. Voigt W. 1887. Über das Doppler Prinzip. Nachrichten von der Kanalischer Gesellschaft der Wissenschaften zu Göttingen, 241-51. Topic: External links. Online time dilation calculator. Proper time. Merrifield, Michael. Lorentz Factor and Time Dilation. 60 Symbols. Brady Heron for the University of Nottingham.